Hi, today I'm going to turn my Pi into a web server. Now, I am running a fully up-to-date version of Raspbian. If you need to install it, check out my tutorial here. Firstly, we need to install Apache. To do this, enter the following command. You can get all the commands and code that I use in this tutorial from my website, pymylifeup.com. Now let's get the IP of our Pi by typing hostname space dash capital I. Now enter this IP into your browser and it should take you to a page like this one. Now we can edit the base HTML file to whatever we would like. To do this, just enter the following sudo nano slash var slash www slash index.html. Then in here we can add anything we want and then quit and save. And now if we go back to our browser, refresh the page, and there we have it, our very own custom web page. Now if we want to have PHP so we can have dynamic web pages, then we will need to download the package by entering the following command. sudo at get install php5 libapache2 mod php5 y. Now that's installed, let's create our very own PHP file by entering the following command. sudo nano slash var slash www slash example dot php. In here, I will make a short PHP script to display the date. Now you can find this back on my website or just simply copy it off the screen. Now if we navigate to the new file by going to example.php, you can clearly see the script is working fine. Now this will update every time we refresh the page with a new time, or a new date if it's a new day. Next we're going to install WordPress, but first we need MySQL installed. To do this, enter the following command, sudo at get install mysql server php5-mysql-y Now here you will need to enter a password for root access to MySQL. Just enter anything you would like. Now that's done, let's download and extract the WordPress install. First CD into our WW folder. Next CH own the folder to Pi. Remove everything from the folder. Now wget the latest WordPress from their servers using the following command. And extract the folder using the following command. Now move everything from the WordPress folder in to the www folder. Now ls to check that everything moved, and now just simply delete the zip and the empty folder. Now we need to create a database for WordPress, so let's log into MySQL by typing mysql uroot p then your password. Now once you've logged in, type create database WordPress. You should get a success message after doing that. Then simply use Ctrl D to exit. Now if you go to our IP in the browser, we will be presented with the WordPress setup screen. Now the only things that need to be changed on this page is the username and password. Unless you have changed anything else along the way. Change the username to root and the password to the password you chose earlier. Now hit submit. And we will need to copy the text from this screen onto our Pi. So first copy the text and then open back up our terminal window and type sudo nano wp-config.php. Now in here, paste the text and save and exit. Now go back to the browser and proceed. Now you should get a page where you can enter all the information on your website name, login and email. Fill this with relevant details and then hit install WordPress. 
And there we have it. Now we have a fully working version of WordPress. Now the Pi won't be able to handle huge loads of traffic, but it still makes for an awesome home server, or even just a development server if that's what you're after. Now if you run into any problems, comment below or hit up my website for more information. Looking for something new to do? Check out these awesome 21 Raspberry Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.